Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In 1999, paleontologists discovered the remains of a cyclops in Texas. Analysis of the skeleton showed that the giant was about 2.5 to 3 meters tall and weighed 250 to 300 kilograms. The bones of the skull are very heavy and dense, in life the giant was a living fighting machine. The age of the remains is 10,000 years. In the road of mountains, Bulgaria, in 2012, discovered a skull with three eye sockets, which is fully consistent with the ancient images of the Cyclops. Official science, as always, declared a fake. The information was classified, and the bones were removed and hidden, only photographs remained. There was no cancer in ancient times. Some scientists examined thousands of Egyptian mummies, but only one of them was found to have a cancer-like tumor with which the person lived for many years. Imperishable ancient bodies from other countries also showed no traces of the modern type of cancer. The disease familiar to our time is described only in the 18th century and later. Another reference to the nuclear war of the 17th and 18th centuries. Araguru. From deep within the murky base of Louisiana comes the legend of the creature, known as the Rauguru. Rauguru are found in French-speaking areas of North America such as Quebec, but most particularly in and around New Orleans, where its legend has proliferated from those of the werewolf. The major difference between the Rauguru and the creature we more commonly think of as a werewolf is that the Rauguru has control over its transformation and maintains the consciousness and intelligence of its human form throughout that change. What do you think? This is the fantastic theater of Epidaurus, one of the wonders of ancient Greece, dating back to the period between the end of the 4th century BC and the middle of the 2nd century BC. With a maximum capacity between 13,000 and 15,000 spectators, the theater hosted music, songs and dramatic games that were included. It was also used as a means of healing the sick through ethereal frequencies. Free energy. This is Ice Palace in Montreal, built of ice in 1884 for winter sports. Was it actually made of glass, but the controllers decided to describe it as if it were made of ice because it would easy to erase from the history. It is a gigantic construction, by comparing the human and the height of the construction on the photo. Could people in 1884 build structures like that out of ice? What are your thoughts? This is Ice Palace in St. Paul. It is also a significant structure. Looks like snow is melting, but no melting visible on the Ice Palace in St. Paul. This photo shows incredible illumination through the Ice Palace in 1888. The 19th century, under the guise of Ice Palaces, they were destroying previous civilization architecture, in the same manner they were destroying the architecture all over the old world, under the guise of fairs, which took place all over the world every year in the 19th and beginning 20th centuries. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. 
and don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Inca Kamana, the Enigmatic Inca Rest Inca Kamana, Villa Quinuani, is located between Yungayo and Cuchurapi, next to the Titicaca side near the Peruvian-Bolivian border, Puno. It consists of enormous and complicated carved steps, seats, and niches, in ancient compressed ash, which probably came from the Capia Hill. Capia is also the quarry where the andesite stones of Pumapunku and Tuanaku came from. Ceremonies still have place to give the traditional New Year with local Amaras, who see this place as a sacred place. Others theorize that it could have served as an Inca auditorium, a ceremonial or ritual place, but its purpose and origin are still unclear. Those who have not heard of electric cannons that fire without gunpowder and use the power of a magnet, are behind the times. And he was about 100 years behind. In June 1932, the magazine Modern Mechanics, reported on the achievements of science, and in fact, continued the work of Tesla and the domestic inventor Filipov. Silent cannons sending their whistling messengers of death into the sky, at speeds far in excess of those now attained by gunpowder shells, seem likely for the next war, using magnetic fields, so powerful for motion, that when short-circuited, they cause miniature earthquakes. Promising developments, expectedly, got lost forgotten, and people went back to gunpowder weapons and gasoline, and gas-powered vehicles. In a Hungarian quarry, at a depth of 60 meters, they dug up the stumps of cypresses, 4 to 8 meters in diameter. Remarkably, the preservation of these stumps is perfect, and the wood has not yet had time to petrify. No other trees were found anywhere in the quarry. And these stand in a bunch, the rest were swept away by the sand and water mud flow. So, the catastrophe happened not so long ago, but there is no record of it. This is the lunar rover that was used in the alleged moon landing. People actually believe this is worth $38 million, two garden chairs and an upside-down umbrella. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.